consumer watchdog report tonight and that internet scam thriving this holiday season. What looks like emails from friends needing money are far more sinister. In fact, the FBI reporting tonight they have more than 150,000 stranded traveler complaints. Here tonight, ABC's Elizabeth Leamy. It came from halfway around the world, a frightening email that landed in an ABC producer's inbox. It looked like it was from a friend. My trip to Manila, Philippines with my family has been a mess. I was hit at the back of my neck with a club. I need you to loan me some money. Was this real or a hoax? Skeptical, our producer decided to play along. Okay, don't worry. I think I can come up with a few hundred at least. But we wired just 20. Philippines is the destination. The con artist picked up the money within hours and complained. You should have told me you never had any money. But we didn't leave it there. We traced the emailer's trail halfway around the world to Manila in the Philippines, where an alert Western Union agent told us a suspected scammer had come into his shop to cash in. I remember that he had claimed money from me in the past. It's called the stranded traveler scam. Scam artists hack into your email account, mining it for personal details about your friends and family, then use that information to fool you into thinking they're in trouble. It's devilishly clever, isn't it? Yes, it's called social engineering. They're preying on what's important to you. If you send money, the con artist puts you on their sucker list and hit you with other scams. Experts say never send money without making sure that email is really from a friend. Elizabeth Leamy, ABC News, Washington.